Daf Yomi, Tractate Mavabasra, page 75a, with the last line um, of 75, 74b, uh, starting a story. Ki Asa Ravdimi Amar, Amar Rabbi Yonasan, Asid Gabriel Asos. Okay, when Ravdimi came from Eretz Yisrael to Babylonia, he said that Rabbi Yonatan says, in the future, Gabriel will perform a hunt. Now we're on uh, of the Leviathan. Now we're top of uh, 75a. Kenigia im Leviathan shneemar atimshoch Leviathan mechakav vechevel tashikia lishono. Ve'il malei Hakadosh Baruch Hu Ozro en yachol lo shneemar haoso haoso yagesh charbo. Um. Gabriel, angel, presumably, yeah, it looks like, yeah, the angel Gabriel will perform a hunt of the Leviathan as it is stated. Can you draw out Leviathan with a fish hook or press down his tongue with a cord? Job 40.25. And were the Holy One, blessed be he, not assisting Gabriel, he would not be able to hunt it. As it is stated, only he who made him can use his sword to approach him. Job when Ravdimi came from Eretz Yisrael to Babylonia, he said to Rabbi Yochanan, he said that Rabbi Yochanan said, when the Leviathan is hungry, he produces breath from his mouth and thereby boils all the waters in the depths of the sea. Shinemar Yartia Kasir Mitsula. He makes the deep boil like a pot, Job forty one twenty three. The Ilman Magnus Rosholgan Eden in Colmria Yahola Lamod Brejo. Shinemar Yam Yasim Keb Mer Kaha. And if Leviathan did not place its head in the Garden of Eden, no creature would withstand. His foul smell, as it is stated, he makes a sea like a seething mixture, Merkacha, which is Job 41.23. And the term Merkacha is also used to describe something with a smell. See Exodus 30.25. Uvishash And when he is thirsty, I said, Talamim, Talamim Bayam. He makes many furrows in the sea, as it is stated, Shinemar. He makes a path to shine after him. Job 41.24 Rav Acha Bar Yaakov says, After the Leviathan drinks from the sea, the depth of the sea does not return to its normal condition until 70 years have passed. As it is stated, one would think the deep to be hoary. Job 41.24 And hoary indicates, oh, it means like elderly. One would think the deep to be elderly or sagely. The hoary uh, or hoary head, you know, it indicates a person who is no less than 70 years old. Amar Araba, Amar Yoichanan, Asi the Kaddish Parahu, La Sois Ula Tzadikim Mibsaroy Shalavi Osen. Shine Amar, Yichru Olav Chaborim, Vein Kera Ela Sudo. Shine Amar, Yicholahem, Kera Gdoila, Yochluishtu. Vein Chavirim, Melatami de Chachomim. Shine Amar, Shevis Baganim, Chavirim Makshivim Le Kolech. Ishmini. Rabba says Rabbi Yochanan says in the future the Holy One blessed be he will make a feast for the righteous from the flesh to the Leviathan as it is stated the Abarim will make a feast of him Job 40.30 the Kara means nothing other than a feast as it is stated and he prepared for them a great feast and they ate and drank 2 Kings 6.23 
and Habarim means nothing other than Torah scholars. As it is stated, you that dwell in the gardens, the companions, Chavarim, hearken for your voice caused me to hear it. Song of Songs 813. This verse is interpreted as referring to Torah scholars who listen to God's voice. And with regard to the remainder of the Leviathan, they will divide it and use for use it for commerce in the markets of Jerusalem. As it is stated, they will part him among the Kina'anim. Job 40.30 And Kina'anim is nothing other than merchants. As it is stated, as for the merchant, Kina'an, the balances of deceit are in his hand. He loves to oppress. Hosea 12, verse 8 And if you wish, say, that the proof is from here, whose merchants are princes whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth Isaiah 23 8 and Rabba says that Rabbi Yochanan says, in the future, the Holy One, blessed be, he will prepare a circle for the righteous. From the skin of the Leviathan, as it is stated, can can you fill his skin with barbed iron? Is Sukkot, Job 4031. If one is deserving of being called righteous, an entire sukkah is prepared for him. In the skin of the Leviathan, if one is not deserving of this honor, a covering is prepared for his head, as it is stated, or his head with fish spears. Job 40.31 Zacha Oisin loy tzilza loy zacha oisin loy anak Shinema vanakim nagagal lesecho Zacha oisin loy anak loy zacha oisin loy kameo Shinema vatik sheren ulanar lesecho If one is deserving at least of his this reward, a covering is prepared for him, and if he, if one is not deserving, a necklace is prepared for him, as he has stated. And a necklace is about your neck, Proverbs one nine. If one is someone deserving, a necklace is prepared for him, and if one is not deserving even of this, only an amulet is prepared for him from the skin of the leviathan, as it is stated. Or you will bind him for your maidens. Job forty twenty nine. In other words, a small amulet is prepared for him, like the amulets tied on children's necks. V'yasha, Paul, Soya, Kodesh Baruch Hu, Al-Choy, Moes, Yerushalayim, V'yasivoy, Mavik, Misoif, Ha'oylam, V'yad, Soif, Hoi, Sh'ne'emar, V'yalchu, Goi, Minoy, Reich, Molochim, Lenoga, Zachech. And with regard to the remaining part of the skin of the Leviathan, the Holy One, Blessed be He, spreads it on the walls of Jerusalem and its glory radiates from one end of the world to the other end as it is stated and nations shall walk your light walk in your light and the kings the brightness of your rising Isaiah 60 verse 3 <speaking in Hebrew> Uman inun Yehuda v'chizkiyah bar b'nei Rabbi Chiyo. Chiyah. Chad amar shoham v'chad amar yashve. Amalu ha-Kadosh Baruch Hu l'yavek k'den u'k'den. With regard to the future glory of Jerusalem, the Gemara interprets the verse, and I will make your pinnacles of Kadkod. Isaiah 54.12 Rabbi Shmuel bar Nachmani said, Two angels in heaven, Gabriel and Michael, Disagree with regard to the material that will be used from uh, to form the walls of Jerusalem, and some say 
that this dispute is between two Amoraim in the west, meaning Eretz Yisrael, and who are they? They're Yehuda and Chizkiah, the sons of Rabbi Chia. One said they will be made of onyx, and one said they will be made of jasper, the stones of Joseph and uh, Benjamin, respectively. Uh, the Holy One must be said to them, let this one, let it be like this one, Kadein, and let it be like that one, Nukadein. Let them be formed from both together, Joseph and Benjamin. This compromise is indicated by the word, Kadkod, a combination of this, Kadein and Ukadein. Kad code. Ah, oh, very clever. Kad code. Kaden. Kaden. Forty eight. Oh, uh, are we holding here? Wow. Who shall I? Are we on the time here? Okay. Who shall I? Love the <laughs> The Gemara analyzes the rest of that verse in your gates of precious stones, Isaiah 54.12. This should be understood in the light of that incident where Yochanan said and taught, <coughs> in the future, the Holy One, blessed be He, will bring precious stones and pearls that are 30 by 30 cubits. And He will hollow out in them a hole of 10 by 20 cubits and set them in the gates of Jerusalem, a certain unnamed student sneered at him, saying, Now we do not find precious stones of even the size of an egg, of a dove, and yet all of this we will find. After a period of time, that student ship went out to sea. Amarla <laughs> After a period of time, that student's ship went to sea, where he saw ministering angels sitting and sawing precious stones and pearls that were 30 by 30 cubits and hollowed out, and then were holes of 10 by 20 cubits. He said to the angels, For whom are these? They said to him, That in the future the Holy One, blessed be he, will place them in the gates of Jerusalem. Later the student came before Biochon and said to him, Continue to interpret, my teacher. It is fitting for you to interpret. As I just saw, I saw it just as you said. Rabbi Yochan said to him, Worthless man, if you have not seen... You would have not believed? Clearly you are mocking the statement of the sages. Rabbi Yochanan set his eyes upon him, and the student was instantly killed and turned into a pile of bones. The Gemara raised an objection against Rabbi Yochanan's statement based on a bride to the verse states, and I will make you go upright. Komemiyut, Leviticus 26.13. Rabbi Meir says in the future the Jewish people will have the stature of 200 cubits, equivalent to two times the height of Adam, the first man whose height was 100 cubits. Rabbi Meir interprets the word Komemiyut as two komot. 
Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Mea Ama, Kenegad Hechal, U Ketalav, Shneemal, Asher Benenu Kenetim, Megudalim, Benu Echem, Benotenu Kezaviot, Mechutavot, Tavni Techal, Kikama Rabbi Yochanan, Lechave de Bezika. Rabbi Yehuda says they will have the stature of 100 cubits corresponding to the sanctuary and its walls. As it is stated, we whose sons are as plants grown in their youth, whose daughters are as corner pillars carved after the fashion of the sanctuary, Psalms 144.12. But if they are each 100 cubits tall, how could the Jews enter the gates of Jerusalem, whose entrance will be 10 by 20 cubits, as claimed Rabbi Yochanan? The Gomorrah answers, when Rabbi Yochanan stated that that idea... He was not referring to the gates themselves, but to the windows that allow the wind to enter. And Rabbi says, Rabbi Yochanan says, In the future, the Holy One, blessed be He, will fashion seven canopies for each and every righteous individual, as it is stated. And the Lord will create over the whole habitation of Mount Zion, and over those who are invited to it, a cloud and smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For all, for over all the glory shall be a canopy. Isaiah Four, verse 5. This teaches that for each and every righteous individual, the Holy One, blessed be He, fashions for Him a canopy seven times over in accordance with His honor, meaning greater individuals receive grander and larger canopies. Asa chupa b'lama ashan b'chupa lama amar b'chenina sheko mishen avsod b'zalam d'chachomim b'lama zem mit man oi seino v'ashan olam abo the Gemara asks a question with regard to the above verse. Why should there be smoke in a canopy? Rabbi Hanina said it is because anyone whose eyes are narrow, meaning he's stingy, toward uh, Torah, Torah scholars in this world, his eyes fill with smoke in the world to come. And why? Should there be a fire in a canopy? Rabbi Hanina said, this, this this teaches that each and every one is burned from embarrassment at the size of the canopy of the other and says, woe for this embarrassment, woe for this disgrace, that I did not merit a canopy as large as, it, as his. Kayotzi badavar ata omer v'natat mehodach alav v'lo kol hodach zikenim shvoi sehadoramu Pene Moshe, Kipene Achama, Pene Hoshua, Kipene Levana. Pene Moshe, Kipene Achama, Pene Hoshua, Kipene Levana. That should be a really good gematria. That's like a, looks like it's pretty standard there. Uh, Pene Moshe, Kipene Achama, Pene Yehoshua, Kipene Levana. Is 1476. And in Abbash, it's 1180. Okay. Oi la oi In a similar manner, um, you can say that God said to Moses about Joshua, and you shall put it uh, of your honor upon him. Numbers 2720, which indicates that you should put some of your honor, but not all of your honor. The elders of that generation said, the face of Moses was as bright as the face of the sun, and the face of Joshua was like the face of the moon. Woe for this embarrassment, woe for this disgrace, that we did not merit another leader, the stature of Moses. Kol Evan Yikara Yikara. 
מר זוטר אמר אחת עשרה, שנאמר כל אבן יקרה. אמר רבי יוחנן וגרוע שבכולן, זהב, תיקח השיב ליל לבסוף. רבי חמא בר חנינא says, the whole one must be he fashioned ten canopies for Adam, the first man in the garden of Eden, as it is stated to Hiram, the king of Tyre, you were in Eden, the garden of God, every precious stone was your covering. The carnelian, the topaz, and the emerald, the barrel, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the carbuncle, and the smarg- smargid, the gold, the workmanship of your drums and and your holes was in you. You, they were prepared on the day that you were created. Ezekiel twenty-eight thirteen. This verse mentions ten items from carnelian to gold. Marzutra said there were eleven canopies that is stated every precious stone, which also uh, is also part of the tally. Rabbi Yochanan said, and the worst of all them was gold as it is counted last, which indicates that other items were more valuable. My Malachis to pay Echunak Babach, Omar of Yehud Marav, Omar of Yehudish Borgu, Lechin Amirach Tzor Bacha, Niskal, Dibora Sinakov, Nikom Vadom, Diviga de Amnia, Hikamar Ba, Nistakati. The Gemara asks, what is the meaning of the phrase, the work which you have of your drums and your holes? Ezekiel 20.13, Rabbi Huda says that Rav says the whole must be, he said to Hiram, king of Tyre, were you in the garden of Eden? When I created all this for you, I looked at you, saw that you would one day claim divinity for yourself and created many orifices in man, the excretory, the excretory system, so that you would know that you are a man, human and not a god. And there are those who say that this is what God said to Hiram. I looked at you, 